Hey mamas, a lot of times as first time moms, we are a little bit overwhelmed with what we should bring to the hospital, what we shouldn't bring to the hospital. So I have created this video for you guys. I've asked a lot of you mamas out there things that were essentials for you in your birthing space. So I've combined mine with your essentials to create this video for you to help you know what to bring for your labor and birth space. If you are new to my YouTube channel, thanks for coming. I'm super excited you're here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So since I asked a bunch of you moms out there what their essentials were, I ended up having like a lot of responses. So in this video, I'm just narrowing it down to 21, which might sound like a lot, but they're really, really valuable. And so of course, as you're listening, you can pick and choose what you like, what you want to bring, what you don't want to bring. Um, but I'm just giving you all of the really awesome ones that I heard from you mamas. All right, so the first item on the list is a birth plan, and this is a really important one. Um, I actually just made a video on why having a birth plan um, brings a lot of value to the birthing experience. So I will link that above here um, and in the description below so you can check that out after this video. Um, but yeah, having your birth plan with you will be super awesome just to give your nurses as you're like an intake or to put up on the wall. Um, a lot of times if you've gone over it with your OB beforehand, they're going to have it in your file, but it's good just to have an extra on hand just in case they don't. So number one is your birth plan. Um, the second one on the list is a water bottle with a little straw. And this one is really like a, is a good one to have, like especially with the straw because as you like progress through labor like early labor it's fine you don't mind like sipping the water like having to pour it in um but as you progress through labor and it gets tougher and tougher you just really want something easy to grab um and just like slurp your water up so a water bottle with a straw will um be really beneficial number three is snacks and snacks are going to be super important just so that you are able to fuel yourself throughout labor especially if labor is long like it is for most people um not only is this going to be um good for the for you the birthing mama but it's going to be good for your partner as well um, because they're not going to have all those hormones that are like you know pushing them forward they're going to really need that extra fuel so like protein bars um, dried fruit I really like um, nut bars just really easy like convenient snacks that you can grab and eat so the fourth thing, which was a common thread between um, a lot of moms that I asked were slippers or comfy, cozy, fuzzy socks. Um, your feet do like fluctuate in temperature during labor a lot. And so like you'll feel like really like hot or like clammy and gross. And then you'll feel like really cold and just having like something easy that you can slip on and off your feet will be really nice. Um, also, if you are laboring for a while and you're wanting to walk around the hospital, slippers or socks are going to be really nice so that you're not like in your bare feet walking the hallways um, at a hospital, you know? Um, so yeah, slippers or socks. The fifth one is a long cord phone charger. Um, so obviously like any charger you're going to want to bring, um, but having a long cord is really nice because there's not necessarily outlets like right next to the bed that are always accessible. Um, and so just having like that extra length to your phone charger is going to be like just more convenient for you. So the sixth one that I have for you is a push playlist and it's just the music that you compile together that um, will help you out during labor and during your delivery. Um, and it's just one that a lot of moms were saying, you know, music really helps them during labor. So it's definitely one that I encourage you just to have ready for um, yourself on your phone or your iPod or whatever. So you can bring a speaker with you or you can just play it on your phone. I feel like that's loud enough. Um, but definitely having a playlist is a fun thing to have during your labor. The seventh thing is lip balm and that's just because during labor you're working hard and you know your lips are gonna get chapped a lot of times um, and so it's just really nice because you know when your lips do get chapped you just like can't stop thinking about it and like the more you lick them to like wet them the drier they get and it's so annoying so just having you know chapstick it's so small but and it's easy to forget but remember because you're gonna want it during labor Number eight is your own pillow. And I think the reason why this can be really nice is because it kind of like smells like home, it feels like home, it's like as comfortable as you like it to be, um, and it's yours. So it just like brings like that level of comfort of your home into the hospital or the birthing space that you've chosen to be in. Um, what I would say with your pillow is just to be careful because birth can be messy sometimes. Um, and so make sure that you mark your pillow 
as your pillow and you don't accidentally leave it at the hospital or you don't accidentally like wedge it between your legs um, and get like your water when your water breaks like get that all over your pillow you know so that's the one thing that I would watch out for if you are bringing your own pillow but um, it is really awesome to bring because it can make you feel comfortable and cozy in that birthing space. The night thing is an eye mask and earplugs and the reason why I'm putting these on here these are my own um, is because having an eye mask and earplugs can really help you um, rest when you need it. Um, so let's say you get an epidural um, and you're able to rest your, those nurses are still going to be coming in and out of the room, turning on the lights, checking the monitors. Um, and so just having an eye mask and earplugs is really going to help you like cancel out all that like outside distraction and get the rest that you need. Number 10, we've hit double digits and it is hair ties. Um, I feel like hair ties are like super forgettable, um, but they're super important because obviously like you're getting sweaty, like you don't want stuff in your face, like distracting you. And so being able just to tie it up really quick and get it out of your face and out of the way is going to be just way more comfortable comfortable and is just going to be super helpful. 11 is a birth ball and birth balls are a little bit giant. They can be a little bit giant. Um, so this is obviously optional. You're not going to be able to like put that in your bag unless it's deflated and then you pump it up at the hospital, but you're probably not going to do that. Um, and a lot of hospitals actually do have birth balls, um, but I know some of them don't. And so if you're like, man, it like, I really want to be able to labor on a birth ball. Um, either talk to your OB before um, or bring your own and you can just shove it in the back seat and keep it inflated and all that um, and then bring it up once you're all checked in um, and out of triage and all that. So a birth ball is another thing that mamas were saying is a good resource to have while you're in labor. The 12th one that I have for you is like mints or gum that your partner can chew on um, as you are in labor because a lot of times as labor goes on, um, you're going to get stinky breath, especially if it's like you've just had your like 10th cup of coffee um, and you're there trying to like breathe with you know, your birthing mama and it's like, ugh, that's stinky, right? Um, and that can actually be like the moment mama's like get out of my face, like, you are not helping me. So partners, make sure you bring gum or mints, um, because that'll be really valuable to you. So number 13, um, was a response that I got from a mama, and I thought was, like, really insightful. Um, she said having a nightlight, um, was, like, really helpful to her, because at the hospital, she didn't want, like, all these, like, bright lights on that was, you know, it just doesn't make you feel super comfortable, um, but having, like, a nice little nightlight on so that nurses and doctors could see, you know, what's going on, they could, like, check the monitors, look at all the paperwork and stuff, um, without turning on all the lights, and so that was really helpful to her. Um, as a doula, I bring little, like, like battery powered um, like fairy lights um, and I can just put those up in a room and so those are really nice too, um, really easy to bring with you. So either having um, like a little night light or fairy lights with you to help, you know, set the mood, um, have enough light without having to turn all the lights on for nurses and doctors uh, to be able to see what they're doing. The 14th thing is essential oils and basically that's just to help you if if you like those scents then definitely bring them with you so that um, yeah you're focusing on like the good smells the calming smells instead of you know focusing on the challenges the difficulties of labor um, they can also really help um, being postpartum with just you know helping yourself relax um, if you have something that smells like home bring that again it'll just help with relaxation so that was another thing um, mama said to bring in in your hospital bag. So these last few items that I have are ones that are going to be more for like that initial postpartum period at the hospital. Um, so number 15 is like the gel nipple pads or the lanolin for um, like as you start breastfeeding. So at the hospital, I think a lot of hospitals at least will give you these like gel nipple pads um, that are super nice. They like offer like almost immediate relief. It's like magical jelly nipple pads. Um, but I will link them down below and I would definitely bring some of your own just in case your hospital doesn't give them to you um, because they are super, super valuable having on hand. Um, and lanolin, of course, like I like recommend using it even during pregnancy if you're feeling like sore nipples or like just from all the stretching and the growing. Um, but it is definitely something you're going to want to have with you at the hospital. 
So number 16 is toiletries, and um, this is something you and your partner are going to want to use. Um, you know, after labor has been long, you're going to want to brush your teeth after um, and just feel clean again. You know, maybe if you've been wearing makeup the whole time and, um, you know, baby's born, you finally want to wipe it off, just having, like, makeup remover there for you. Um, so again, just things that are going to make you feel, like, clean and, like, human um, are things that you are going to want to bring to the hospital with you. Number 17 are nursing bras or like nursing camis and these are super nice honestly like I feel like the first like day or so maybe first night whatever you're just kind of like laying it all out there but as like family starts coming in and friends start coming in like you're probably gonna want to cover up and so just having like easy access like camis or nursing bras um, are gonna be like super useful so make sure you put those in your hospital bag as well so number 18 is a belly band and I'm super glad a mom pointed this out a belly band if you don't know what it is is like those it's like that stretchy material um, that like you can just put on it like goes up to your belly button and you know when you're pregnant and when your pants don't fit and your zipper is all open you just like put it over so that it looks like an like an undershirt almost um but after birth you know you want all like the support that you can get as especially as your like uterus is shrinking and your belly is coming in and so it is nice um I didn't use it but I imagine like would have to have that like support as your belly is like coming back in so that is just a good one to have in your bag Number 19 are leggings or sweatpants, just some kind of like stretchy, loose material that you are going to be comfortable in as you go home and you get out of that hospital gown. Um, you know, if you've had uh, a C-section, especially you're not going to want anything like tight, um, hugging around that area where, where they made the incision. Um, you know, you're not, if you had a vaginal birth, you don't really want underwear that's super constricting. Um, you're probably going to be wearing like the hospital like diapers anyway, which are fabulous. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to pack um, clothes that are like nice and loose um, and pants that aren't going to be super constricting either. The 20th item that you're going to want to have in your bag is your baby's going home outfit and that's like the most fun one. Um, so I've had lots of mom's responses like their little onesie or their little bow, their little pajamas. Um, so yeah, of course that's like the most fun one and definitely one that you don't want to forget. So we've made it to number 21 and it is yourself. And I know that might sound a little bit silly, um, but I just really, really want to remind you guys that it doesn't matter like the day of what you do or don't have it your in your bag. Um, what matters is you being present for each of those moments, those challenging moments, those rewarding moments, the moment when your baby makes it out of your womb and into this world and on your chest and in your arms. Be present for those moments because those are the moments that are going to be unforgettable. Um, so yes, you want to remember, try to remember all these things on this list, but if you do, don't worry about it. Be present. Um, be there with your baby. So I hope that this video has helped you in trying to figure out what to bring into your birthing space. Um, so let me know what you do bring, what you don't bring, what um, really helped you in your last birth um, or your upcoming birth. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.